All right, guys, welcome. We're gonna try this thing here where I overtake the screen and see what that does. Um, all right, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, so let's see here. It says easy cast. All right, that's that's nice. Now let's get to notability here. All right, very good. All right, so what I want to talk about is uh with this next lesson is something called special products special products are things that occur in the um in the algebra world where once you kind of know a general rule you can apply that to any other situation that kind of looks the same and there's there's a few things a few little rules a few little things we'll learn about that so the first one we're going to look at um, in this video is called square of a sum. So square of a sum, basically um, what that means when somebody says, okay, well, you, you have the square of a sum. Well, all right, what's square of a sum? Well, square of a sum, if you think about what a sum is, all right, so a sum is when you add something. And so let's just say we're adding X and two. So if I'm squaring the sum, Okay, square, to square something means to multiply it by itself. So some of you might think, oh, well, x squared. Well, no, because it doesn't say you square the x term. It says you're squaring the sum. So you're squaring this whole result, right? This would be the sum. So if you want to do the whole result, that's why we use the grouping symbols. Okay, and if I'm squaring it, it just basically means I'm multiplying it by itself. And then... As a result of that, because we're doing that, then the, another way to think about this is once you understand that, oh, this is the square of a sum. Well, you can rewrite this as x plus 2 times x plus 2. And then at that point, we're going to be able to look at what a couple rules are and, uh, and then how to do this quickly. So you can almost get your answer straight from this without having to go to that. All right, so let's look at this first example. So we're going to start by expanding it. All right, 3x plus 5, because this is a square of a sum, times 3x plus 5. And we know from, uh, normally I do my regular distributive property thing. I'll do FOIL today. All right, so if I write FOIL down, that's first, outside, inside, last. So my first terms are 3x and 3x. Multiply those by each other, you get 9x squared. My outside terms are 3x and 5, so you get plus 15x. And then my inside terms are 5 times 3x, which gives me 15x. And then 5 times 5 is 25. Now, the reason we call this a special product is because whenever you have the square of a sum, and you'll see in the next video we talk about the square of a difference, these two terms are always going to be exactly the same exactly the same and so what you can do all right so let's let's just finish this right 9x squared plus 30x plus 25 so I've, I've got this going right so do you notice that all right this is 30x right here let's look at this middle term and this is where this becomes powerful that is basically what I get if I take 3x and multiply it by 5 and then I double it okay so there's there's basically whenever you have anything that is the square of a sum right is you take your 3x plus 5 squared and the quick and easy way of doing this is you take your first term and you square it so i know that's 9x squared you take your last term and you're going to square it so that's going to give me 25 and then you take these two multiply it by each other and double it so 5 times 3x is 15 double 15 you get 30 keep your x in there and then you don't have to go through all of this it's a much faster way of doing it so let's uh let's try another one all right so 2b plus 3 squared let's use our new rule now so we're going to take this first one and we're going to go 4b squared let's do this 9 all right or i'm sorry it's a 3 it becomes a 9 right and plus 9 because it's positive and then 2b times 3 is 6b and then we can double it so it becomes 12b and if you don't believe me that this works expand it out and try it and see what you think all right last example here 8c 
plus 3D. Now, don't let the fact that there's two variables in this completely freak you out. It is the same approach, all right? So we're gonna take this first term and we're gonna square it. So that becomes 64C squared. Let's take this last term, we're gonna square it and we'll move it over to the right, give ourselves some room. 9D squared. And then you multiply 8C times 3D, which gives us, I'm gonna write this down, 24CD. All right, and then we double that. Well, double 24 is 48, plus 48 CD. And I think what's powerful about doing problems like this is when in a, in a lesson or two, when we start factoring and we start talking about factoring and factoring um, trinomials, you'll start looking for patterns like this and you'll start seeing things like this, all right? So it's good to know where they're coming from. And this is a rule that you can use and you can apply to any time you have something that's of this form, a plus b squared. Anything, what, regardless of what a is or what b is, they can be, you know, a could be a variable or it could be a whole monomial. It could be anything. And same thing with b, right? But you can apply that thing where it's always going to just give you a squared plus 2ab, so you double whatever a times b is, plus b squared. And that's the general case. And that will work every time.